we were discussing the fundamental types and we did the integral types and now we were doing the from floating points and floating double and long double uh, types uh, in the previous lecture we did the set precision uh, used and we used that and we have to use the IO manipulator header file uh, let's try different things or uh, let's try different numbers for set precision so now I have set to 10 and the number is 247.2 and we got uh, 199969 now set some other value for set precision of 1 we get a scientific notation of uh, 2 to the power e to the power 0, 0, 2 which means it's actually rounding off or, or displaying as a round off number okay set position to 5 and we get um, let's see what we get I think 247.2 that's okay so let's try another value set position of 2 uh, it will display just two numbers probably and that's 2.5 and e to the power so, so on and so forth set position of 3 and we get 247 so it's not displaying that number after the decimal point because we are saying it to just dis display three numbers so at position to four and it will display all four numbers including the number after the decimal point a bigger number set position to 16 and we get a number different than what we did in the previous lecture because my calculator floating point uh, was was doing its own rounding of a truncation I have this calculator and it's doing the floating point computation in its own uh, computer in its own processor and uh, it might have done uh, done some truncation or round of errors over here so let's try another example of point 2 and see what we get over here and uh, set position of 16 and instead of displaying point 2 it's now displaying this number so let's try doing it uh, with my hand and see what we get over here so I want to do is I want to do a floating point uh, point two in floating point format. So the next thing I want to do is I want to convert this part, the whole number part, into binary that is equal to zero uh, from base two to uh, sorry to base ten to base two. Uh, so I need to convert this point two part to so I need to multiply it with this two, sorry uh, with this two, and I'm get going to get point four, and I'm going to keep the zero part point four into two is point eight. Just keep the zero part uh, point eight into two is 1.6 and we get the one part and 1.6 into sorry 0 0.6 into 2 is uh, 1.2 we get the one part and you can see that we still we get again uh, 0 0.4 so whole process just repeats so this uh, bit stream of 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 is going to repeat itself uh, so it's kind of a rational expression but it's a never-ending expression so that means we cannot actually represent 0 0.2 exactly in binary format uh, it's just an example of if you divide 1 by 3 in decimal so you get a never-ending stream of um, 0.333 so writing 0.2 in binary so I mean just the whole thing so I'm, I need to get the zero from the whole number part and the decimal point or the you know binary point if you want to call it and then you get the 0.0011.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0
and the mantis part that is of 23 bits so I'm going to write uh, 23 bits over here so it's an averaging expression so I'm going to write uh, 1 0 1 let me count it down 1 2 3 4 5 4 5 20 21 22 23 okay 23 bits for that so this is the uh, almost equivalent almost actually not exactly almost equivalent representation of point 0.2 in uh, decimal 8.2 so that's the IEEE format so now what we want to do is we want to reconvert it um, I mean you know converting it back to I mean that the, the oh, act, actual number was what is stored in the computer now I want to convert it back to decimal so the sign bit says well the number is positive had it been one so the number would have been negative the exponent part is zero triple one 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 zero zero if I want to convert it back to one two four eight sixteen thirty two sixty four just add the numbers in which the bits are on so I get um, one thirty four probably so I'm not so sure I mean let's check the calculator okay sorry 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 one twenty four actually so subtract um, bias value so bias of 127 which we added before so 124 minus 127 so we get uh, minus 3 so what we that they mean this minus 3 is going to the power of uh, 2 so this will go to the power of 2 because the actual formula was uh, minus 1 um, minus 1 to the power of sine bit then we what we did was 1 plus mantissa and we're going to compute the value of mantissa into 2 to the power of this number which is minus 3 or the exponent value so now if we want to figure out the mantissa so let's write the mantissa so where is the mantissa the number after okay there's the 23 bit part over there so I need to just select it and copy and it copied and it pasted uh, slightly differently but we are only concerned with the mantis part of that uh, 23 bit number 1 2 3 4 5 20 21 and 23 okay this 23 bit number that's what we are concerned with so let's write it down to some other empty space one zero zero one one zero zero one one zero zero one one and zero zero one one and zero zero okay now this number um, I mean this number the first number is going to be multiplied by 2 to the power minus 1 the second number is going to be multiplied by 2 to the minus 2 and minus 3 minus 4 and uh, all the way to 2 to the power minus 23 so I mean it's a ra rather large tedious computation you computers usually use a lookup table I'm going to make it in Excel um, the Microsoft Excel program so going to Excel I'm going to write the powers of 2 so minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and it will go all the way to uh, minus 23 now I'm going to raise these numbers to the power of 2 so just uh, to the power of minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 drag it down and then I'm going to um, write this number the bits are on so I'm going to write 1 over here so and then 0 0 1 1 and then the whole com the whole uh, pattern repeats all the way to the last bit whatever we can fit over there so 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 1 1 and the last two bits are or were 0 0 so I'm going to write uh, 0 0 over here so I'm going to multiply the numbers uh, with to the power minus 1 and to the power minus 2 and so on and so forth so I'm just going to multiply 1 with this thing and 2 with this thing sorry 0 with this thing and so on and so forth and I'll go up multiply all these numbers so I'm going to add these numbers so these all these numbers whichever are active so I get this number so I need to uh, pay attention to the very last number and I'm going to write this number I mean this computation equals to this thing that's point if you, I don't know if you, I'm not sure whether you can read it it's really too small that's like point five nine 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 some some number so uh, the formula was minus one to the power sine bit into one plus mantissa Five ninety nine ninety nine some number into two to the power minus three. So I'm going to do this whole expression in, I mean minus one to the power zero for the sine bit is zero. So I'm going to do it in Excel. So sine bit is zero. So minus one to the power zero is one. So one plus this mantissa and I'm going to multiply by two to the power minus three. And this number we need to pay attention to this number. So if I uh, let's try increasing the font size over here, so whether it's actually doable yes it is okay 
I'm going to increase the column width and the row width so that this number becomes rather large. So, okay, so pay attention to this number. So, I'm going to vary the number of decimal places number of uh, and see what the number is actually displaying. Decimal places 0, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, all the way to um, some different variations. And after 16, probably, it's uh, saying that this number is equal to this. So, this number. I mean this like displaying point two now displaying like uh, some different number and uh, that means that's 1.99 depending on the uh, floating point computation which we did uh, in Excel it might be different the floating point uh, representation might be a little bit different or might the truncation rounding of errors would, would be different in the C++ environment and in the Excel environment so now doing some simple uh, floating point uh, arithmetic so I mean just going to add multiply numbers over here so just write uh, it's a simple code which we did in the in previous the in integer okay this include of IO stream is necessary for CRCN but IO manipulator uh, header file only if you're using set precision if you want to so I'm going to declare just two variables uh, double and double is uh, actually this is a floating point so it's had double precision so double x equals to 24.0 and y is 288.0 c out x equals to you just write anything over here this value of x is going to be displayed in this point and then and y equals to this thing so okay so c out x plus i mean just write anything over here and just write x plus y and and l is going to copy this whole thing so this thing would be minus. I mean, this is just a string. It's not doing actual thing. This thing actually doing the actual work. This expression. This expression is not doing the actual thing, but this thing is actually doing the actual work. So this is just a string over here in double quotes. I mean, x y y y. And important thing to note is that remainder operator, which was the modulus or the percentage operator, does not work with floating point numbers. I mean, floating point means float, double, or long double. So I mean, it just varies uh, with the precision, but they are all essentially floating point numbers. Run this code, and we are seeing that uh, 24 and 68. I mean, the important thing to note is that I mean, it's 24 plus 88. So the summation of 112 is different than minus this thing, and multiplication of this thing. X divided by y. If you remember, we did an integer. If the both numbers are integer, the answer was integer. But here, the answer is a floating point number because both of these numbers are floating. If any one of those are floating point numbers, the whole expression just upgrades to floating point number. So important note, all floating point um, arithmetic is done in double precision. So if you are really concerned with the space, so if you are concerned with the uh, space or size limitations, such as if you are working in some smaller computer or a microcomputer, um, that means that which has limited space, use float, otherwise use double. Because the more precision, the better. Okay, going to the C float float dot header file, you can include it or you can just see this uh, specification at C com. And if we look at the minimum and maximum values uh, which are representative and it goes all the way to e to the power minus thirty seven to e to the power or exponent of minus thirty seven to exponent of plus thirty seven, ten to the power of that thing. Um this thing is for I think is for four byte floating point number. Long double has like e even more range. Now doing type convergence, so I want to do type convergence that integer n equals to 22. Then I declare another variable float x e plus equals to 3.14159 and x plus equals to n. This thing is actually equal to um, x equals to x plus n. So x plus n would be evaluated and the value of x on the left is going to be upgraded or updated sorry. So c out equals to uh, x minus 2 and L so this X and N N is actually updated and value of 2 is automatically converted obviously N here and 2 here is automatically converted to floating point numbers so I mean whenever we have some I mean a bigger type the all other numbers of a smaller type are automatically type converted to bigger type I mean in terms of precision obviously so I mean this thing integer has less obviously no precision at all I mean it is the whole number so conversion from integer to float or double is automatic and uh, I mean here if you see that uh, n 
is an integer it's now here in this expression x plus n that was upgrade uh, that was updated to a float number or a double number actually by default it goes to double uh, whenever a floating point number is concerned okay now type casting type casting means converting a type uh, let's see if we have an expression or some number if expression is floating point and we convert it to an integer then we just write this then it will convert to sorry it will be converted to integer sorry 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 it will be converted to integer and if the expression is floating point it will be sorry I just wrote it wrong so watch out for disasters here okay so it will be converted to integer so I mean this expression is float and we convert type cast to integer so n will be an integer for example I just wrote this float as wrong so for example if uh, float equals to 2.718 then integer x would be 2 so it will be truncation truncating I mean the cutting off of all of the part it will not be rounding it off to 3 it will just write 2.718 as 2 so there could be some really big disasters here so watch out for that I'm going to demonstrate some examples let's say double p equals to 134.56789 and then we convert it to integer so the m will contain 1 2 3 4 so let's see out the values of these variables v is uh, whatever the whole thing and uh, and sorry n is uh, the value of n and l it's uh, displaying in two decimal places actually the whole number is there so don't worry too much about it because we are using double precision floating point so just write uh, set precision because I think I have used IO manipulator in the beginning included there probably so I'm going to say look, look display just uh, 10 numbers here including the whole number and that part okay so 1 2 3 4 5 7 and 9 we have 10 numbers over here and it's just playing okay the value of n is 1 2 3 4 so it's truncation it's not rounding had it been rounding it would have been 1 2 3 5 so watch out for disasters here so if we go to this website oops no internet sorry the internet um let's turn on the internet why the internet okay some disasters attributable to attributable to bad numerical computing. So, if you look at the example of explosion of Ariane 5 rocket on June, this uh, I mean, you just uh, read the whole thing. There was some small error. So, both turn out as the cause of the software error, specifically a 64-bit floating point number of horizontal velocity was assigned to a 16-bit sign number and uh, that's why it caused all these problems and there was some computation error and the whole rocket just blew up so if you want to take a look at uh, let's try that so let's have a number short and I'm going to convert it to short just to emphasize that it's a two byte number integer is four bytes so I'm going to write a really really big number and it's a sign short so it will go from minus three two seven six eight plus three plus three two seven six seven and see what we get it does drop I mean the cycles again and goes to like some negative value it does some multiple cycles so watch out for disasters here let's do let's see some other examples on the internet um, conversion from 64 bit okay so this is a offshore platform syncing and if you look closely I need to search where this actually says it since it's an error of finite element analysis where you it's done with mechanical engineering or civil engineering where you divide the big system into smaller parts and uh, you just approximate those parts and uh, let me figure out where that line is written if you want to read it up it's really whole helpful for you to if you want to read it up uh, more careful finite animal analysis. That means they probably did the finite animal anal analysis in lesser precision. Okay, the big one, the Patriot missile failure. So during the Gulf War, failed to track an incoming Iraqi skirt missile. Um, it killed 28 people and 100 injured. So it's a software problem, specifically in times of tens of a second. So that means 
interclock multiply by 1 by 10 and it was stored in 24 point fixed point register that's an integer and uh, 1 by 10 in binary is a non terminating binary expression so that means that significant error was introduced because it cannot represent exactly 1 by 10 so 1 by 10 equals to this thing and it's a non terminating expression you want to fit it up in 24 bit register so obviously you're going to truncate it multiply by a tenth of a second in hours and so on and so forth gives so much error and after the speed and I mean it's essentially a half a kilometer away so that's why it could not intercept the incoming SCUD missile I mean this missile I used to uh, track and kill another file. Okay, Humble Pie, but really Im good book of Matt Parker. Uh, if you can go to does not compute chapters. So here the multiple examples are given. Really important. I mean, here is a Swiss railway example. You cannot have more than 256 axles because the number is stored as 8 and it's a Pac Man game. I hope you have played it. Or uh, I think you might, your parents might have played it. Okay, so deadly code. So this thing is uh, concerned with some uh, radiation therapy and it has to do with 256 there's some s uh, there's this uh, bubbles up again and again and back to zero and so on and so forth I think there was one person being killed by this thing so you you know computers well they what do you want them to do they will do I mean obviously they don't have any intelligence that's why we have something known as artificial intelligence but that's not an intelligence itself okay so dangers of truncation I mean it's a really good book if you want to read it uh, it's available on the internet uh, if you do not have the copy drop me an email I will send it to you okay does not compute um, some more examples of truncation and humble pie how comedy of matters by Matt Parker uh, really really ho strongly recommend it if you read this book okay so how these computing errors can have some problems okay and in the end I want to do is something known as type promotions. So type promotions is corrected C equals to A behind the scene that is 65. Then I upgraded it to short that's an integer uh, two bytes one byte two bytes integer M equals to K four bytes long is actually also four bytes float X equals to M four bytes but written in a different format that would be IEEE 754 format double Y equals to it's eight bytes. Now uh, I think I did not do long double. Okay, let's going to do it in the end. Okay. So I mean this is statement enter semicolon instead of writing in the next line I can write in the same line but for the compiler that will be a different line. So because after every semicolon the statement is completed. See out just writing these and values of those things. integer m and uh, that's writing the values that's it see out uh, long n equals to and the value of n here I mean just writing the statements the strings in double quotes you can just write anything over here value of x and see out y I mean these is this is actually you know type uh, upgradation actually type promotion actually okay the value C is A short is K and is 65 long is 65 float is 65 and double 65 okay so I'm going to write the I mean going to have some space over here so I'm going to write the size of these things so just to make sure obviously we already know that size of C is one byte and the uh, size of short is two bytes and short of integer I mean sh size of in integer is obviously four bytes long and integer are essentially same in this C++ implementation float is also four bytes but the difference of float and integer here is integer is a fixed point I mean it's a fixed precision I mean it doesn't have any decimal point next to it but float is representing the very same number differently It's displaying that number um, and uh, I mean obviously it's story is storing that number differently It's storing in four bytes but the format of that storage is different integer that was that was storing in two complement format the sign magnitude bit as well as the magnitudes but the float and double they are using eight and six, uh, four and eight bytes so they are uh, even though they are displaying the number as 65 as 
as it is but they are storing the numbers differently and it will be dealt with differently uh, whenever uh, you're using it into some expression okay long double lastly I mean obviously we know that this is a 16 bytes so we are just upgrading it the double to long double I mean you don't really have to convert in this fashion you can directly convert a character to long double I mean it's just a demonstration of how this type promotion happens so I mean you I mean you can convert I mean just watch out if you are converting from a smaller type to a larger type that's okay but from a bigger type to a smaller type watch out for disasters uh, as we have demonstrated in this lecture the long double is 16 bytes now demonstrating some uh, floating point overflow errors so I'm going to just delete the whole thing and I'm going to declare a variable x equals to thousand and then I'm going to just multiply it with just this own value just to square it and just to demonstrate that how floating point overflow works so x equals to x into one thousand that is actually equal to x equals to uh, x into x so essentially squaring it so the existing value of thousand would be multiplied by thousand so the x value would be now million so I'm going just to do it again and again from a million to a billion and to doing it multiple times and uh, let's do it one two three four five times okay so just to have a very really large value keeping in mind that float has a limited range uh, just a four byte number and see what we get over here so we get infinity so whenever there's a difference between integer overflow and float overflow float overflow goes to infinity or minus infinity and uh, integer just wraps around so difference between overflow of integer and float that integer wraps around to maybe some i mean just cycles around and float it goes to infinity or minus inf it's just a symbol doesn't mean anything so now demonstrating some round of errors so what i'm going to do is i'm going to just uh, delete the whole thing and then i'm going to declare a variable double x equals to thousand and thousand divided by three that's three 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 point three 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 that's a rational expression never ending expression x equals to three two three point three three and l then i'm going to do is double or double y equals to x and minus three 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 point zero or three 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 point three three should have done it over there but you get the idea x equals to um y and uh, and l the value of y and double z equals to um, 3 into y minus 1.0 so c out equals to i'm just going to check whether 333 three, three into 3 is 999 or 1000 so let's check it out so the value of z is and i'm going to check if z equ is equal to 0 which is it's not c out z is equal to zero otherwise else if it is not then z is not equal to zero actually you should not be checking for the equality i mean i'm going to discuss the if statement in the next lecture uh, so don't worry about it just checking whether it's equal to zero so i mean the difference is really small but should not check for the equality whether the um, i mean not a bright idea really to check for equality with floating point numbers I mean always check go for the whole numbers or integers whenever you are checking for equality or logical uh, boolean variables okay so hidden round of errors I mean they can be happening in runtime whenever we have a uh, let's say we have a quadratic formula. Quadratic formula is uh, we're going to use the square root minus b plus uh, b square minus 4 ac that is in the square root so square root is defined in c math. So I'm going to write the uh, values of float abc. I'm going to take the values for the coefficients of ax square plus bx plus c equals to zero and this go into the coefficient of the quadratic equation and then we're going to get the c out and going to have the I mean have some tab character so backslash t and uh, that going to place some eight spaces backslash t and then I'm going to say um, a I think it should go cn okay uh, a equals or a is so we're going to display that cn going to take the value of uh, a then going to take the value of uh, b I mean going to display backslash uh, t and then it will take the value of b c n c uh, and backslash t that means tap and then c colon equals to just some um, string really and c n equals to i mean c n goes to c the console input and the input operator goes to c c out i'm going to write the the equation which the user has entered over here the equation is um a into x square or I'm going to write x into x i mean just a text mode input so uh plus bx plus c 
um, equal to zero. D equals to B square minus 4AC. I'm going to multiply this thing. So 4AC and I'm going to get, uh, well this is just for a minute, okay. So I'm going to get the float uh, square root just have a name, I mean a different variable, square sqrtd is equals to square root of d, and the square root is defined in cmat. Okay, so float x1 equals to minus b plus a square root of d, which, is which you have named as sqrtd, divided by 2 into a. Bracket is so important, otherwise it would have divided, divided by just 2, and then multiplied by a. Just keep in mind, use brackets whenever you want to evaluate the expression of the denominator separately from the numerator and then divided and then just x2 equals to minus b minus b square minus 4c under root over 2a the solutions are well essentially x1 and x2 backslash t tab corrector x1 is well this equals to the value of x1 and c out backslash t um, x2 equals to spacebar and or x2 value of x2 would be de de uh, demonstrated over here and then we're going to check whether we're going to put the values of x1 and x2 and see whether we are getting the zero i mean that's a homogeneous equation so x square plus bx plus c equals to zero so a x1 square plus bx plus x b x1 plus c equals to zero should be equal to zero so i'm going to write a x1 x2 b x1 x2 I think I made a mistake, so let me check it out. Okay, so a x one going to copy it, and this shouldn't be x two and x two. Oh, there is an error here. I think there is an error. There is also an error in the above. So a x one square. So x one into x one and a x two, and this should be b x one. And I think that's okay. So b x. I mean, I'm going to check whether this thing is actually equal to uh, zero or not. So let's run this thing. And why is it not running? It's saying executing. Okay, some previous windows are open, so it might have been hanging up system, so I'm going to close those windows. Okay, so backslash t, 2, 1, minus 3, and say 0, 0, that's okay, so the solutions are okay, so press any key to continue. I think there is no error as far as this computation is concerned. Let's run this thing again. to minus one three hey not a number so it might have been complex we haven't included it. i mean it's just assuming real numbers so not a number so if the if the one other thing is also not a number the whole expression which is using the not a number will be a not a number so it's not infinity it's not a number so i think it might be complex so one one i mean the big number one ten billion and here it is here it has a written hidden round of error so it's demonstrating minus one which is not correct so it's kind of a runtime errors over here and yeah, not compile time errors. And one is not a number, another one is minus infinity. So keep in mind, I mean, this due to um, the floating point arithmetic, and it might have exceeded the range, and so on and so forth. Okay, so going to demonstrate if you want to uh, display some scientific notation. So I mean, by default, it actually it goes from point one to nine ninety nine nine ninety nine as uh, their numbers that they are. But otherwise, they will be demonstrated in the scientific format. You can use a small e or capital e. E means not that e, not natural logarithm. No, I do not mean that. Uh, it means to the power of. So let's see. So I'm going to enter some big number. Five six to the power of uh, ten to the power of actually a big number, and it's demonstrating in this scientific notation. Just to summarize what we did in this lecture, uh, we did the set precision and we tried different examples of set precision, and then we did another example of point representing point two in a floating point number uh, from I triple seven five four format and back to decimal, and we use Excel for that, and we saw that you can have various precision depending on what hardware you're using, depending if you're using a calculator or an Excel computer or, or Excel in this computer or maybe a C plus plus program, it might have different precision. But all floating point arithmetic is done in double precision by default in a C plus plus application. Uh, use 
only double or the white float if you are concerned with uh, space limitation. Then we also saw the round of errors, the hidden round of errors, and we also saw that the type casting and type promotions. But watch out for disasters which might happen if you are con going from the bigger s uh, type to a smaller type, going from float to integer, which we demonstrated that. But it's okay if you are going from a smaller type to a bigger ty type, so that I mean the bigger type would have the space to uh, store those variables. But watch out, these floating point numbers are not that precise. They might have some uh, indefinitely ending or not ending expression for even seemingly whole numbers uh, or let's say we saw that for point 0.2 uh, we had uh, a non-ending expression so it was not that accurate to represent uh, point 0.2 in binary and it goes on and so watch out for this variable precision whenever you're using uh, some engineering applications so if you want more precision use double if you want even more precision for that use uh, double precision or long double uh, floating point number